Hey man, y'all need that shit up out of Cali. Hit me up right now. Let me know. I got the paperwork. Nah, I'm just playing. Hey, but free it up. Let's get into the video. Hey, yo, what's good, everybody? Today, we are transporting 250 pounds of marijuana. And I know that shit sound crazy, but yeah, like that that is actually a real thing. Like people actually do this, right? And so um, I didn't know what the load was specifically when I went to pick it up. I didn't know until uh, the, uh, I want to say the dispatch or the broker or whatever, they called me back and they was like, uh, do you have such and such paperwork, which is the um, the COA and then the AG uh, agreement, not AG agreement, but the AG um, license, right? And so before that, like before they called me, right, I had uh, made a mistake and I ran a stop sign in time, right? And I could have got pulled over. But little did I know, like this is a whole pallet of fucking marijuana, like just sitting back here in my truck, right? And so um, after about five minutes of me looking for the paper, I um, I came back here and I decided to smell it, right? And I, um, I realized that this, out of all the packages or out of all the pellets I ever picked up, right? This is the only package or the only pellet that is fully saran wrap. Like this thing is saran wrap from like literally head to toe, like except under the pellet. Like it's even saran wrap to the pellet. And I, I've never, like I've worked in the wilds before and I've never seen nothing like this done. So, um, and then like, I want to say I sat in the truck about 10 minutes. Um, you know, I sent the paperwork back to the dispatcher and, um, or the broker or whatever just to make sure that uh, I had the right paperwork to transport this, right? And so I started smelling and little did I know, I was like, damn bro, that really is weed back here. And so, um, and they don't say weed, it's called the uh, H, uh, hemp, so it's something like that, it's weed with THC, right? So, um, and this right here is the pallet. Like it's, it's actually uh, it's not a, a wood pallet or whatever, but yeah, it's, 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 that's how I can. Like fully wrapped, like even over the top, bro. And don't worry about it. I do have it scrapped down, but I have it scrapped down in a certain way, so it is scrapped down. Like, look at that. Look how thick that wrap is. Like, that's some pretty thick wrap. It's not tight, but it's, it's there, and you can most definitely smell this shit in my van. So, hey, and look, if you're not already following me on my other social media, such as Instagram, YouTube, and uh, TikTok, and hey, y'all go ahead and do that because those are the, uh, the main three uh, social medias that I like to post on. So, if you wanna stay uh, in tune or you wanna learn more about what I do, what I got going on, stuff like that, hey, just follow me on those. And also, hey, you know, before I post this video, bro, this load is gonna be well on my truck. So, and for one, this this load is going uh, 620 miles from Oregon down to California. So it's about a 10 hour drive. And um, yeah, like I said, this pellet would already be gone. And um, so don't try to break in this van or try to find a van like mine sniffing in and shit you know some weird stuff like that because people would do that and, um you know just come to think bro i could honestly i think i could make more money if i just sell this shit instead of um taking it where i gotta go honestly because it's just so much 250 pounds of weed bro okay hey, and one more quick thing one more quick thing right uh when i made a post and i said that this is 620 dedicated miles remember when you have dedicated freight, right, there are certain things like this broker right here, they specifically did not want me to stop within the first two hours, which was about the first um, 100 and what, 10 miles, I think, something like that. And so, um, yeah, so we drove for two hours. We met our first stop. We just got breakfast and everything like that, right? So we're going to hit the road. We still got about seven and a half, something hours like that to go, right? So we're going to get this, we're going to drop it off, and I'm going to show y'all. Like, cause I know it's gonna be like a um, some type of lab where this is going. It, it has to be. So I'm not sure how they're gonna load it, but um, it was loaded from a farm. I'm gonna put that TikTok video after this video. And so, it, well, a farmland. This guy he had a bunch of cherry trees, and I guess that's a common thing up in uh, Oregon, in the area that I was in. So, and like I said, um, it's right here, 600 miles. So, with that being dedicated, that rate automatically. It, it doubles dedicated pays doubles just remember that so don't let these brokers get over on you especially if they want you to do some weird stuff like not stop for the first two hours you know make sure you're getting paid for all of those every little thing that you can think of like just make sure because they will try to get over on you and also uh fuel coming down here um just over here in this western area make sure that rate is good enough to cover fuel because gas it, it may take you a hundred dollars or more you know or close to a hundred dollars just to fill up 
you know, your Sprinter van, your cargo van. And just imagine if you're in a box truck or a semi truck, you know, the, 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 it's a lot you want to take into consideration. And also on this side, bro, it's a lot of hills, like mountains. You going up and down constantly. You got to be very alert. Like you can't be on your phone driving, no, no crazy stuff like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and head out. That's not it? No, that's not it. I don't see many that night when I go to pick up. Baddest operator around. You never seen a man stand up and do it. <laughs> Another couple? Oh, now nah, that should be good right there. Shit, the road, baby. Yeah, everybody. So, um, when you enter states like California and Texas that are like super close to the border, they um, you have to stop at the way station. That's the only time you'll ever stop at a way station in a cargo van, right? And so, like, what it is, they close off the road, so the road literally enters into the way station. So, if you've seen it before, you know what I'm talking about. But I know it sounds kind of weird to some people. But um, the thing was when I stopped, um. You can obviously smell the fucking weed back there, right? But, um, the guy, the, um, what, the Border Patrol guy or whatever, um, I I'm not sure what, DOT officer, or, you know, whatever, um, asked me what I'm transporting. That, that's the one of the things that they're always going to ask you, whether you're empty or not. They want to know, you know, where it's coming from and things like that. But he had asked me what I, what I was transporting, and I was like, it's, it's weed, marijuana, and then I, I think, then I was like, I think it's called him, but um, I didn't tell him it was THC him. So, you know, it's it, it's basically, it's, I'm not gonna say the same thing. I think that's like medical marijuana type type thing, right? Uh, I'm, I'm not too familiar with it, but it, it, it's weed, bro. And so um, he asked me and, um, and I told him, he was like, oh, oh it's him. You know, just, just go ahead and go, don't worry about it. And so um, I was just thinking like, dang, bro, like, like it, it's literally that easy to like come across the border with or leave enter and leave out of the state with that no I don't, i'm not gonna say like for texas though because i i know that that border right there is a, a lot more strict that's where when i uh when i when i have made stops in brownsville texas and coming into texas from like um i think it was arizona something like that and um you know they got the dogs and everything walking around so know if this is something you want to try hey be be cautious about it i want to even recommend you try to be you know to be real with you but um because they, they, they don't play about certain things like that like they'll seize the truck seize me they'll take it away from you right now um, so yeah we're about uh four hours a little less than four hours close to three hours away from uh delivery and this um that pallet back there it, it was in a uh it had to be contained in like a cooler or something because i went back there and i touched the pallet and i realized it was kind of cool it, it wasn't like room temperature or nothing like that so um like i said it is dedicated like they, they want me going straight there they don't want me to make any type of stops whatsoever so you know it is what it is but get paid to do it so we're gonna take it there hey but uh on a more serious note I needed two important pieces of documentation with uh, carrying something like this. It was a COA, which is a certificate of analysis. So I'm, I didn't read the paper all the way. I just knew that was something I needed, but I'm pretty sure it's just something that, uh, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory just to make sure that that is what they say it is, right? Or that it's, it's certified by, you know, certain people who have those credentials or whatever. And also, the AG uh, certificate, which means agriculture certificate. So I picked it up on a farm, right? So whoever uh, that that guy was who loaded me, um, I posted a video earlier. I'm, I'm, yeah, it was his farm. I got to talk to him for a good little minute, but um, yeah, and, um, so yeah, the AG license, uh, AG certificate, you know, which basically is, you know, you own this. This is where it's coming from. You know, you're certified to grow this because you know obviously even though it's legal in certain states that don't mean you can just up and grow you know and so 
yeah, th those are two, you know, important pieces of paperwork that I needed. And also, uh, you know, of course, the bill of landing. I only thought you needed the uh, the bill of landing. So um, when I drove off, they called me to make sure uh, I had everything I needed. So, uh, yeah. All right. So we're here at the drop off, right? But they need more paperwork, more paperwork. So they needed the uh, IAC and a... Um, the airway bill and also a uh, shout out to Yates man when I worked for them man they treated me like family but I'm not familiar with the uh the IAC bill but I know what the airway bill is I have that but I'm not sure about the IAC and she told me that she needed that if not she was she wasn't gonna be able to take my delivery so but they didn't tell me about all this but he did give me a fat ass stack of paper so now I gotta look through all this just to find it man hey so I was actually able to find the paperwork like it was right here like it Right here, I thought I was gonna have to search like real, real hard, but hey, it was right there, like it was pretty easy. <laughs> you all are multiple companies and one, or? Uh, multiple airlines. Multiple and airlines India. and one, okay. Mm -hmm. So is it mainly Swissport or Ford Air? Um, right here, this is Swissport. Ford uh -huh. Air is like a trucking company. Okay. Just like that, it's gone. Gone. Just like that. Hey, hold on. Let me grab this. All right. Just like that. The whole process is done. It's over with. You get loaded. Get unloaded. Have the, uh, the operator who unloads you. Have them sign the paperwork or whatever. But this operator here in particular, like, bro, I, I've never had a problem out of any operator before. Like, with them being sorry or laser. But this guy did not want to sign the fucking paper the right way. Like, it cl it's clearly says signature and print name. So... And, um, but he, he just didn't want to do it for whatever reason. And, um, and also look, let me give y'all, um, a good, uh, bit of insight. Um, okay. This company, um, is called, um, well, it, it, it's more of one company. So, um, if you could get on with companies like, uh, Ford Air or Swiss Cargo, companies like that, um, that who literally have on demand freight try to go ahead and start sign up sign up with those companies work with those companies specifically i'm not gonna say only but sign up with those companies those companies tend to pay the highest the ones that are tsa and sta certified uh so just keep that in mind if, if you learn anything from this video don't worry about the weed or nothing like that try to work with companies that are certified like that because those companies are the ones who constantly have that on demand on demand freight and that that's what this load was it delivered to one of these uh local airport areas or, or something like that well i this is an airport i'll just put it like that and so um but you know with all that being said hey um y'all continue to stay blessed and if you're not uh follow me on all social medias uh instagram um facebook youtube tiktok all of those is i like the bubbles facebook joshua k lewis or whatever and so you know with that being said y'all continue to be safe and be blessed peace